Have you ever wondered why there isn't a one-size-fits-all solution in statistical learning? In the realm of machine learning, it's not always about unearthing the best model. Rather, it's about balancing different aspects like bias and variance, or complexity and interpretability. Each model presents unique strengths and weaknesses, and understanding these can help optimize your learning algorithm. So the question is not about finding the perfect model, but about understanding and managing these trade-offs. Scene script, let's dive into the world of trade-offs in statistical learning. Imagine you're a detective trying to solve a mystery. You could make a quick decision based on a few clues, or you could meticulously analyze every single piece of evidence. The first approach might lead you to a wrong conclusion if the clues are misleading, while the second approach might make you lose sight of the big picture amidst all the details. This dilemma is similar to what we face in statistical learning with the bias-variance trade-off. Bias is like the detective who jumps to conclusions, oversimplifying the data. This results in a model that might be too simple to accurately capture the patterns in the data, leading to high error on both training and test data. Variance, on the other hand, is like the detective who overanalyzes the evidence, overfitting the training data. This leads to a model that fits the training data perfectly, but performs poorly on new unseen data. But there's more to the story. We also grapple with the complexity interpretability trade-off. Picture a map of a city. A detailed map with every street and alley is complex and captures a lot of information, but it can be overwhelming and hard to interpret. On the other hand, a simple map with only major roads is easier to interpret, but might leave out important information. Similarly, complex models in machine learning can capture more information from the data but can be quite hard to interpret. Simpler models, while easier to understand, might not capture all the patterns in the data. So, we're caught in a balancing act. On one hand, we want a model that accurately captures the patterns in the data. On the other hand, we need the model to be understandable and generalizable, so it can make accurate predictions on new data. As you can see, both trade-offs are about balancing the need to accurately capture the data's patterns and the need to make the model understandable and generalizable. So, how do these trade-offs influence our approach to statistical learning? Well, let's boil it down. In the world of machine learning, trade-offs are omnipresent. They are the choices we make between accuracy and interpretability, between complexity and simplicity, between bias and variance. Understanding these trade-offs is key to selecting the right model for a given problem. Is your priority a highly accurate model, or is it more important to have a model that is easy to understand and explain? This decision could lead you down different paths towards different types of models. Sometimes, a more complex model can provide higher accuracy, but at the cost of interpretability. On the other hand, a simpler model may be easier to understand, but it might not capture all the nuances in the data. And let's not forget about the bias-variance trade-off. A model with high bias makes strong assumptions about the data and may oversimplify the problem, leading to underfitting. A model with high variance, on the other hand, may overfit the data, capturing not only the underlying pattern, but also the noise. The optimal balance often depends on the specific task and data at hand. It's not a one-size-fits-all scenario. Each situation calls for a thoughtful evaluation of these trade-offs, making statistical learning a dynamic and nuanced process. In the end, statistical learning is not just about crunching numbers, but about making informed decisions based on understanding the trade-offs at play. So, are trade-offs in statistical learning a challenge or an opportunity, you might ask? Well, it's all about perspective. You could look at them as hindrances, roadblocks that prevent you from finding that elusive, perfect statistical model. Or, you could see them as opportunities, opportunities to deepen your understanding, to make more informed decisions, to add more nuance to your approach. These trade-offs, they're not imperfections, they're not bugs in the system, they're features, integral parts of the complex, fascinating world of statistical learning. They compel us to think critically, to evaluate our options, to constantly question and refine our approaches. They push us to be better, to be more thoughtful and deliberate in our work. So, embrace these trade-offs. Welcome them as challenges to overcome, puzzles to solve, riddles to decipher. Remember, the beauty of statistical learning lies not in finding the perfect model, but in navigating these trade-offs to find the model that works best for your specific problem. Keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, enjoy the journey.